you know, I mean, this is always a fun format when you get this collection of guys together. <clears throat> and um, it's, it's a test and it's a challenge to try to figure out, like Coach said, just the chemistry, the, uh, you know, just the flow and the rhythm, especially on offense, because there's a temptation to defer. There's a temptation to overthink every possession because everybody can make a play. Um, and when you have an advantage, you just try to keep the game as simple as possible. That first unit, we struggled with that. You know? But then once we got settled in, it seemed like everybody got a little bit more comfortable as we got deeper into the game. And you know, hopefully the next four you know, exhibition games we have, you'll see more progress. So um, it's just nice to get your legs underneath you and play some meaningful basketball in July. Like that's, that's always fun. I just you know, love hooping. Dalton Johnson, NBC Sports Bay Area. Steph, you seem to really get, be getting going in that third quarter. What's the biggest adjustment as far as spacing goes with a team like this? The different shots you have to, you're, you're going to get. Uh, we're all, I think Coach Spo mentioned it in one of our film sessions. We're all high usage guys that you're used to having the ball in your hands and you know creating, knowing where the defense is. Uh, in this, in this, uh, you know, FIBA, in this team, catch and shoot. You know, simple shots, you know, that you got to be able to knock them down. You don't know how many you're going to get. You don't know when they're going to come. But the spacing is great. We, we've been getting great shots this whole time playing against the select team or against ourselves and against Canada. So that's been consistent. It's just a matter of can we knock them down and then uh, just try to make each possession on offense a little bit smoother, knowing what we're trying to get into. That'll That'll come. So. Uh, you just gotta be able to knock down shots. Like that's gonna be a name of the game, especially when it gets when games get tight. Steph, can you take us through the and one that led to the pose that went uh, very quickly viral on the floor? Uh, just having fun. I obviously got to the basket. And I slid across. I was trying to get back up, but I got stuck. So I just went with the pose and gave myself a second to get up. But you know I like to have fun and enjoy myself. And it didn't take long for me to you know, find an opportunity tonight. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, you know, Kawhi gave it everything he had when he was preparing. And uh, you know, those last three days of, of camp. And you know, there was you know, conversation mutually between uh, USAB leadership and, and Kawhi and his, his team just to make sure he was set up for success. And I mean, obviously, they're tough decisions. Um, and I know he wanted to play, but it's one of those things where, you know, he, he wished us luck and wanted us to go get the goal. And you love that kind of support from a guy that's in a tough situation like that. But, um, you know, hopefully for the long term, you know, he's in a good place because the game needs him. And uh, when he's not out there, you, you know, you miss a, an all-time great player, so we hope that he's he's ready for the season. I mean, it was uh, it was cool to be a fan for a hot second and looking at all the history of you know USAB sports on both the men's and women's side, all the people you looked up to growing up in the game uh, who've had iconic moments, legendary moments, um, and have shaped what USA basketball really means and the dominance that we've had. So to see that collection of people, coaches, players. Um, my favorite, I got to see Lenny Wilkins, who used to coach my dad back in Toronto. And it was just like a really cool vibe of just celebrating, you know, basketball history. And then to have, you know, President Obama uh, come and, you know, he's he's great with the microphone and uh, really inspiring with his words. And it was cool to set us off into this journey uh, this summer with celebrating the 50 years of uh, USAB and, and uh, what we're trying to do this summer. So. I got goosebumps while he was talking. I got goosebumps watching, you know, who all was in the room. And uh, it makes you feel good about who you represent, so it was cool. Say so what? Yeah, just about what representing your country means, the opportunity that what sports brings people together, and the fact that, uh, you know, we have an opportunity to do something special to inspire hope and, and uh, inspiration by just, you know, and striving for excellence, like we we win, we want us to win, and that's what you know the U.S. has been known for. He didn't put any extra pressure on us um, or anything like that. But it was it was a great great message, and it was nice to some guys. It was our first time meeting him. Um, it was great to see him. I hadn't seen him in a long time, so very very special night all the way around. 
All right, thanks everyone, Canada's here.